I've been lucky enough to see some very great actors I in my time, going back a long way, going back to Donald Wolfitt, to Edith Evans, uh, for example. I think my first encounter was with great acting uh, was when I was an undergraduate in London, and in 1949 I went to see Laurence Olivier as Richard III. Perched up in the seat in the guards, which I'd paid very little money, there I was, and it was absolutely overwhelming. Uh, the excitement that he was able to generate was colossal. And also, later, I think, I think of all the performances I've seen, the one that sticks in my mind as the most overwhelming was Olivier again here in Stratford-on-Avon as Coriolanus in 1959. It was a performance of enormous power, vigor, intelligence, and originality. He had an extraordinary capacity to bring words to life in, a, in, in an almost frightening way. There's a line in Coriolanus where he says, the fires in the lowest hell fold in, fold in the people. With Olivier, it was something like, the fires in the lowest hell fold in the people. It, was, it, won, it made one leap out of one's seat. But above all, in that performance, the end, when he died, stabbed in the belly, he was up on a promontory he was, to which he had been forced by, 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 the, by the enemy forces, and he stood there and delivered his great final speech. "'Twas there, like an eagle in a dove-cut eye, for lattered your skins in royal eye. Alone I did it!' he said, and then he was stabbed in the belly, and he, fall, he toppled backwards, was held by the ankles, and uh, lowered down to the stage. And we came out of our seats on the first night. It was a feat of athleticism. It was perhaps a little bit tricksy, but it was very, very exciting. And I walked the streets of Stratford for 20 minutes after seeing that Coronel, as I was so moved by it. I, I just didn't want to talk to anybody. It was so powerful. Other great performances I've seen, um, Peggy Ashcroft here, uh, a lovely Kate in The Taming of the Shrew when she was already 50 years old playing with Peter O'Toole who was I think perhaps 25 or 30 years younger than she was but a radiant performance and but uh, and and in The Wars of the Roses the adaptation of the early history plays which John Barton made she played Queen Margaret in a performance of great ferocity Margaret is a termagant and the scene in which she played uh, with Donald Sindon as the Duke of York when she baits him and torments him with the thought of, uh, uh, of, his, ba of his child that, that has been killed uh, was a, a scene of great power on both their parts. Donald Sindon, who, who died uh, 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 recently, uh, was a wonderful actor both in uh, serious dramatic parts but also, perhaps above all, in comedy. Uh, his uh, Benedict to Judy Dench, his um, uh, Beatrice in Much Ado About Nothing, and his Malvolio in Twelfth Night, again to Judy Dench's um, heroine she was, when she was playing Viola. These are among my, the greatest comic performances I've seen. And Judy Dench herself, of course, uh, is, is, uh, is a very great favorite of mine, uh, and uh, I, I, I write about her, of course, in, in the book, and I, I, I write about her performances, which I, I many, I've seen most, I suppose, of her Shakespearean roles from, early, from the early days. Didn't see her Juliet, uh, but I saw her Isabella in Measure for Measure here. Um, I saw her Viola, her lovely, exquisite Viola. And perhaps the greatest of her roles was Cleopatra. She didn't expect to play that role uh, in her earlier days. Um, and when she was asked to do it, apparently she said, what, what are you doing casting me a menopausal dwarf uh, as Cleopatra? But she made an absolute triumph of it. Directed by Peter Hall at the National Theatre, she got the wit of the part, she got the comedy, uh, but also she got the, the, the raunchiness, the sexuality, and the dignity towards the end, the way that she spoke the great Cleopatra's great speech to Dolabella uh, was a, a speech of wonderful eloquence. So Judy is, is my favorite, actually, among all the, all the living performers of Shakespeare.